Holy cow, guys. I'm sure you guys all seen Gardens of the Galaxy and liked it like I did, like everybody did, watching it seven times. Uh, I'm not a big figure guy, although I'm sort of dipping my toe in the water a little bit lately. Uh, and after I saw the movie, I thought, hey, this could be a decent investment. And even if it's a terrible investment, it's something I'd still be happy to have. So I went out to Target and I was able to find these Hasbro figures. Um, and the sweet thing with these guys, even though they're in their original uh, boxes, you can still play with them. You got Groot. With, they're all the leg squeeze action ones. You got Rocket. Oh, his ammo comes up. You can see. And, of course, Star-Lord. Sweet gun action Star-Lord. So cool decorations and really sweet figures. That I can still play with without taking out of the original box. I went on a trip to uh, Seattle this weekend for my anniversary. And I was able to convince my wife to let me check out a couple shops. Came away with some good stuff. So... Uh, I got a few books from that. I got a few I got online. I got a couple I picked up from my local shop. They're all kind of mixed together. Uh, so let's just get into it, guys. Uh, do I want to leave the figures there? Yeah, I'll see how this works. This is DC Comics Presents number 26. Uh, this is the first appearance of Cyborg, Raven, and Starfire. Oh, not... Firestar. Firestar is the Marvel one. It's Starfire. Uh, is it Firestar? You know the girl in uh, Red Hood and the Outlaws now, but awesome book to have. This is from my local store, and I got this for $30. Picked it up today. Was really excited. This is a really nice book. Like, it is in really nice condition. All it has is a few spine ticks up the side. Uh... I'm really excited about it. It's it's a pretty... I wish they were on the cover because you kind of have this little sample, but you don't get to really see too much. But cool little story. Classic DC style story, like memory loss, what's going on. Throw these characters in there and just introduce them real quick. But um, really excited to have that in a nice gray. I think $30 is a really good price for it. So this was in my local shop. Uh, this has happened to me a couple of times where right before I'm planning to go to like a show or something, my shop will come in with like a new book that I want and I have to decide do I want to save my money or pick it up. So I actually, I saw this last week and I didn't grab it because I knew I was going to be going to Seattle, but luckily it was still there when I got back because I didn't spend as much as I thought I might in Seattle. And now I have it in my collection. So great book to have, I think, and excited to. It's the, also the new Teen Titans this is amazing spider-man 36 which is the 9 11 issue i think they did it pretty tastefully they don't get too political with it so really good book and there's a lot of scuffs and everything on the bag but when i took it out it's like flawless which is nice because it's hard to get this one really crisp clean black um so i got this and a couple other books at a store in Seattle and I brought him up to the thing and I knew it was a pretty good price he got for ten dollars and I said uh, so what can you do for me on these ones and he's like nothing <laughs> I was like oh nothing you guys don't do that it's just like uh, I know I can sell them no problem uh, so I can't do anything for you uh, so even though I knew I was getting away with like a good deal I was still annoyed that he just said no to my face like that without even feigning to try to make something work but uh, that's just my sensitive, sensitive side, I guess, coming out. But yeah, really excited. That's one of these ones I wanted to get off my list. And I've never really even seen it in the wild. I was thinking I was going to have to get it online one day. And really nice to just find in a random comic store in a bin. <music> Detective Comics 694. Nothing super key about it. I'm really getting into the Poison Ivy stuff. I really like Poison Ivy as a villain. And so it was a Poison Ivy cover. And I got this in a lot off eBay. A really sweet seller. Maybe I'll put the link to this seller at the bottom. Because uh, he's from Hawaii. But he kind of has $5 shipping. And you can combine basically as many books as you want. So I got this. I kind of just picked this one because it was $0.99 cents to add with a few other books I picked up. And I also wanted to show it just because it's 
one of these sort of almost suggestive covers. You've seen like a lot of the Wonder Woman ones, but uh, I, I posted a picture of some of the books I picked up and on Twitter and Balba Fett 97 commented about how Batman doesn't even take off the cape when he's getting down. Uh, so it does look like he's kind of giving it to her from behind. And then you have this guy spraying like a spray out there. I just thought it's totally one of these potentially controversial books. <laughs> Picked up another one of these, Spider-Man and His Amazing Friends, number one. First appearance of Firestar. Um, and I just love this cover. I already have it. This is another one of these books what I've done is where I buy it on eBay, <laughs> kind of on a whim. And then I find it in my store randomly. Like, I don't know where it was. I think I found it in just sort of some random side. He has kind of a little mixed bin, and I think I found it in there. And it's three dollars, so I figured I'd grab it. Um, I just really like the cover and everything. It kind of has that classic uh, Bronze Age look, and it's the first appearance. So maybe if someone wants to trade, I'd be happy to trade that one. What else? This is a flea market book. Um, just a random dollar issue. Thought it was an awesome cover. Um, Venom Dark Origin number four or five and really cool Venom cover. There's so many cool Venom covers, but really like this one. And I saw this one went for $25 on eBay. I'm not sure if that was a rare thing. They don't, there's other ones priced lower than that, but maybe some people like this book. I don't think there's anything significant about it, but uh, that's a Medina cover there, but really cool. <laughs> Here's one I'm surprised I haven't seen on people's videos. I'm sure people have it. This is Spider-Man number 75. Um, I think, or is it, it says Peter Parker Spider-Man, but I thought this was Spider-Man, the issue. I'm going to have to look that up. But this is the death of Ben Riley, and kind of the end of the clone saga. And I, I read through this today, and for like a 90s book, this came out in 96, it's pretty well written. Like, it has some depth to it, um, an interesting sort of showdown with the go Green Goblin. And I, I enjoyed it. How do I say this? Certain parts of it were really good, and then certain parts of it were really shallow. Like, um, there's going to be some spoilers here, not anything major, but Spider-Man, uh, Peter Parker, his wife is pregnant with the child, and she ends up losing the child, and that gets like, one panel or two panels where they're upset about it and they move on uh, when he dies it sort of happens in a really awkward way uh, almost the way Ben Riley was disrespected as a character he gets disrespected in his death and I don't even know if he's come back since this since this death but uh, it's a really it's a really pretty good story overall it's just those little things how they dealt with that I thought were a little shallow could have done more but especially for a 90s book I bash on the 90s a lot but it was pretty good. Uh, Ramita Jr. art and not as terrible as some of his more recent stuff. This is X-Men number four. Uh, Jim Lee cover. Classic X-Men from the cartoon we all know. Uh, Omega Red. First appearance. So again, it was 99 cents. Kind of uh, one of the things that attracted me to that. And part of the lot, the $5 shipping lot. So I had a whole bunch of books in there. Um, one more flea market book. This was a dollar. Uh, this is Marvel's number three of four. And I think Marvel's was a really cool series. This is uh, Silver Surfer and the Human Torch kind of reflecting off his skin. This is an Alex Ross cover. And the whole interior art is also Alex Ross. And I guess the idea with this series is that it's looking at the heroes um, from more of the world's eye. Like, how does the world around them see these characters, uh, these larger-than-life characters, flying around them? Uh, so it's telling the stories more from the view of a normal person. Really interesting take on things, and I think Alex Ross is the perfect one to tell that kind of story. Um so I was excited to find this because this is a series I want to pick up. I'm really, I really enjoy Alex Ross. And last.
lastly, I've been looking at this book all day, guys. Like, oh, it's so beautiful. Also from Hawaii. This is Adventure Comics 439. Just a drop-dead gorgeous cover. Uh, the Spectre. Spectre often has just beautiful covers. Uh, I don't even know. I know very little about the Spectre. I was recently introduced to him as a character in um, Batman Eternal. And thought he was pretty pretty cool but I've, I've obviously seen a lot of the specter covers and just love it the colors are incredible you got this sort of deep purple color with the green and the blue and the yellow i really love these bold titles they have it on uh, some of the the action comics had that the the swamp thing books had it and it's just it's pops out so much and it's got it just, I don't know, it makes me feel like a little kid. It feels like a Golden Age type book. And just beautiful. Um, and I wanted to ask uh, Etanik1 there about the grade on this. So I think I'm just going to zoom in here with the iPad. So, like, the grade, well, he graded it at an 8.0. But I think that's part of the, one of the reasons I really like this guy, because he graded really strict. Uh because to me the book looks so good it has spine ticks like along the side I count there's about 10 spine ticks at the bottom there's sort of a rough edge but like I'm really zoomed in so there's like barely a really rough edge here and there's barely a rough edge down here but besides that it's just it's in flawless condition so I don't know what, how much spine ticks bring the price down, but like along the staple and then a few on the side. But man, this, I am just, this might be my favorite book right now. I am so into it. Just gorgeous. So that is my haul for this week, guys. Uh, I got a few more books I'm definitely going to show off. Not sure when. Uh... Go out and check out the Gardens of the Galaxy movie if you haven't seen it. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later.